Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to generate barcode in your Java application. So for this I am using Jasper reports. So make sure you install the Jasper Studio, Jasper Soft Studio in your application, in your Eclipse IDE. So here you can see in the help install new software, you can um, not here, help eclipse marketplace As you can see sorry not this way i'm oh, sorry for the eclipse marketplace yeah it's here so here if you search for the jasper soft studio you get them so i have already installed that i'll show you so it's here and my installed softwares i have already installed checking for updates just a second yeah it's loaded if you scroll down you can see jasper soft 6.6.0 is already installed in so it's asking for an update but for now i just don't want to update it i'll just go back so click on file i'll just create a new java project so java project and uh, make it simple um wb which means a windows builder finish so yes no problem this is a common exception we have so i'll just try to create a project so i have already created a project called wb but here when you install the jasper soft in your eclipse ide so you'll see this kind of thing others and uh, Jasper Soft Studio. So click on the Jasper report. Click next. So make sure you have some active database configured in your Jasper reports. It is recommended that if you want to access the Jasper reports, uh, you can view my all Jasper report tutorials. They are present in my playlist of my channel. But uh, make sure you have and some active database connection connected to your jasper reports to do this performance so i'll just click next and i'll just name it so barcode or else barcode next so i don't have any database yet so i'll just simply skip it finish because as I am not connecting my Jasper report to my Java application, so just I am leaving it. So here we will see how to generate a barcode. So I will just full screen it. So here you can see to the left in the palette, you can see a barcode. Click and drag it. Okay, it is asking for a type of barcode. So the mostly I use is code 128 or code 39 so you can but it depends and it varies from the country to country the barcodes vary from country to country but mostly Indian people uses the code 128 or code 39 so I'll just go with code 39 and click finish yeah the barcode is something like this so something like that now mm, once again I'll try to add another barcode just I'll try to preview it we'll see what happens so the barcode is printed we can zoom it but this is not actually what we wanted uh, so depending on the customer input we need to generate the barcode right so I'll click for some other barcode if possible I'll just go for code 128 not this one second you can use any one so all works fine in my case I have tested them too anything works you can you can download any 
barcode scanner in your if you have an android device with you you can simply download some android uh, barcode scanner and you can test this when it's compiled successfully yeah this looks fine for me now what i'll do is this is not having any name now so i'll just create a parameter mm. and i'll open this one second yeah i'll create a parameter new create a parameter so i'll just double click on this sorry show properties and i'll give it as bar barcode so now we can see barcode number something like that finish so it's named with the barcode number here i'll just drag it like this so i'll just make it at center and i'll increase the size of it something like that i can make it bold so for this i need to set this barcode element to this barcode i just i need to append or we can say uh, yeah something like append my barcode the input of my barcode to generate the barcode here so i'll just click on this show properties so barcode so you have this code expression right so you can click on this and uh, parameter mm, barcode number here so i'll just remove it so finish it that means when i try to enter something from my barcode here depending on the barcode this gets generated so we'll test it once i'll just preview it so it asks us for an input so i'll just write uh, 1234567891 and i'll just run it so if you this works fine now this is the barcode generated depending on so will you just check the lines so i'll try it with some other barcode number now it is 10123456789 so i'll test again and uh, we'll do some, some certain we'll just and i'll just preview so it asks for the number so 897 i think it accept the characters as well 1 2 3 4 so you can see uh, this barcode the lines has been changed so doing like this you can uh, create barcodes so you can connect this jasper report with your java application and do the printing things so how to connect your jasper report with your java application i have already explained in the previous tutorials you can just check my tutorials related to this jasper report with my java application how to connect it so you you can uh, see there may be you can have a situation like uh, you can even print uh, the barcodes with field names but we haven't had any fields now so the same thing you just click on the properties show properties click on barcode and click here when you click here you have fields name now for now you don't have any fields here but when the fields are generated just select what kind of field you want to set to your barcode to gen get generated so that uh, it works with the database uh, columns na uh, something you have some column numbers depending on the column numbers you want to generate the barcodes so just you need to fetch the barcode with your column number so that that gets generated so this is how we do generate barcodes in java so i hope you understood guys so thank you very much